Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. For today's video, this is the sketchbook I started back in, what's this say? So June, June 15th, and I think you remember it. From this page here, when I took your suggestions from Instagram and I drew and doodled everything out, and my goal for the sketchbook was to fill as much as possible. This book is actually filled up as much as possible. Now this is a moleskin and I think it's a five by five by eight by five. So it's really tiny. So I was able, it wasn't too small, but it was to the point that I was able to fill it up as much as I could. Well, obviously this is me and you see all the stuff. The only change thing here is I'm now 29 years old. This was actually a church doodle and it was Steven, my husband's idea to draw a little rocket with Saturn and this was really cool because I actually wrote this on a plane for him because he was flying and he's a little bit scared of flying. And he said that if you're capable of reading this and the plane is having a lot of turbulence, the plane is able to withstand the turbulence. But if you can read this, you're okay. So you can obviously read it on the plane, so you're okay. All right, here's some more church doodles, a bunny because there used to be a bunny in our front yard that would hang out. So I drew different versions of a buddy, bunny, and Steven drew teeth on him. Don't really like that one. And then I drew this and then colored it in of a little girl holding some fireflies. I really enjoyed doodling this. I thought that was a little bit fun. Just a little bit of an original character design. Then I doodled Jeannie and Will Smith. So I wanted to have like back to back. I really, really love the way that Will Smith turned out, and I love, love Will Smith's costume as a genie and the Disney live action version of Aladdin. Just another little doodle. And then, oh, right here, here's some doggy doodles. Now, I think I re I've reviewed Master Touch Markers from Hobby Lobby, and the only downfall I don't like about them is that the orange bleeds on to the pages around it. So that's like the biggest downfall, and I was really upset on how that was turning out and I didn't like the way that this looked because it bled onto Pongo and then it bled onto here so I'm really not a huge fan. And then um, here's Rosie, Sunny, and my baby Jazz. And I was just doodling them from life and I think that's from Sunny right there walking on my sketchbook. As you can see with most of these pages where it bleeds on and everything I still tried to fill it up as much as I could so I'm still trying to figure out like a different style to my cartoons and how I want to draw them in digital style so I was just practicing them at over there and then I kind of figured it out and I ripped out a page from the back and it kind of ruined this sketchbook but here's Jasmine and Aladdin and I wanted to draw them and I used master markers once again and you see I just got upset because the way they were bleeding onto each other with like just the like you see Aladdin and Jasmine both bled onto this page the oranges so I'm not a really huge fan of that at all and I maybe maybe it's just like the actual paper that was causing that not sure but I was not a fan of it so I stopped using master markers altogether in this sketchbook until it was done. And then this at work, you see how it bled through and it bled through onto the other side. And I still see the orange, <laughs> but I still wanted to use the page. So my boss actually asked me to design a chalkboard. So this is what I wanted to draw onto the chalkboard. It came out a little bit different looking, but I wanted to just kind of put that in there. And you'll see the other design throughout the whole sketchbook. But a lot of my Inktober doodles are mixed up a lot just because I wanted to fill the sketchbook as much as possible. So even though that this was the next drawing that I did after this day, this was the next drawing, but I came back and I drew onto this page. So what we have here is one of the days for Inktober. The word of the day was ride and I drew my favorite ride from Disney parks, which is the Haunted Mansion. And then we have Tiana and Charlotte and Charlotte's having a meltdown, which is like me every other day. And this is almost every other person dealing with me. But I always feel like I'm more on a level with Charlotte than any other Disney character. <laughs> 
All right, and then we got Steve from Stranger Things 3 in his little Ahoy costume. And I wanted his I wanted his socks to look, it just looks like I drew them uneven, but I wanted his socks to be like one falling and one upright. And his hairy legs, it just looks like a little boy. <laughs> so we tried to draw Elvis Presley and I wanted to do it in a more like caricature way. And I didn't like the way that turned out. That turned out. So I drew Elvis Presley like this adding a little cross hatching and I found this really magical pencil. It's like a tri-colored lead with these three colors and I thought, oh, this looks like an Elvis Presley kind of suit he would wear. So that's what I drew onto this page. I want to practice more action poses as opposed to just like standing and that's what I was trying to do. Like even though Steve's standing, but I want to get more into practicing action poses. All right, so I was going on a little bit of a Lord of the Rings kick when I was doodling Frodo here, when he says, I'll take the ring. If I must, I will take the ring to Mordor, whatever the line is. One of the day for Inktober, the word of the day was tread. So I was thinking when I immediately think of the word tread, I think tread lightly. So I thought of these two little mousy, Bianca and Bernard from The Rescuers. This day was treasure. The word of the day for Inktober was treasure. So I, all I could think of when I heard the word was don't touch my treasure. So I, do, I drew Dwight Schrute from the office holding his treasure. And if you watch the office, you probably know what's about to happen next when they open the treasure box and see what's inside. And then we have a little doodle of Tarzan and Jane. I was just kind of like experimenting with a dark black Prismacolor pencil versus ink and just shading here and there. And if you've seen this video before, this is the one I was talking about, like how to survive Inktober or 30 day challenges that are really rough. But this is just a little fairy, a fall fairy that I made. And then this was another chalkboard design that I did at work for my boss. And so this one and the boot to you were like the two chalkboard designs I really thought out before I went ahead and put them up on the chalkboard. Um, okay, you can't see it this one, but very lightly with a blue pencil. I try to preserve it as much as I could, but when you drag your hand across blue pencils, it kind of disappears, but this is Steven's sister, Sierra, and she was really nervous and uh, to distract her. I said, why don't you take my sketchbook and draw in it just to kind of calm yourself down because she's a bit of a artist herself but she does more realistic stuff as opposed to cartoon stuff so this day was actually just this inktober doodle was for fun because we were in disney world for my birthday at the magic kingdom and i actually took a picture of this cinderella in front of the castle at night so it looked really good and stephen helped me take that picture and yeah then, i did help you take that picture didn't I? yeah he did so and then this one was a little doodle from church. That was forever ago. Yeah, but he was sitting next to me. And Hi, everybody. Yeah, Steven's here. This is Steven, doodling Steven. I was minding my own business, drinking my coffee, and she said it was too loud. He slurps. He has no English as it a kid. It was warm. And then this was another Inktober day. So I jumped back and forth a lot, like this was a long time ago, and this was more recently for Halloween. I doodled this for Inktober. It wasn't a specific day, just did it for fun. But if you watch The Office, Dwight with the pumpkin prank. Oh, such a wonderful, wonderful moment. This, I was just, I got a brand new ink, turquoise, so I went ahead and doodled Ariel like she was in the ocean. I really love how this turned out. And I didn't want to draw anything on this page because I just liked the aesthetic over here and then there's my jazby i did this for a video and you guys watched it when i recently lost her and i was talking about how art helps you get through the hard times and then i can't really draw anything on this side i could but i didn't want to because i might rip this out later and here's flynn tied up in rapunzel's hair and i was just this was way before inktober i was just gearing up and getting ready for Inktober. These were actually drawn while I was watching The Secret Life of Pets Part 2. I love the dog character, cat design character design, all the, the designs of the different animals and I loved the story to this. This was a good sequel. Most of the time I'm not a huge fan of sequels but this was a really, really good sequel and it was much needed. It was just, it's cool to see. Yeah, if you Cotton. guys ever wanna know what Priscilla's really like, 
just watch Cotton. Cotton and That's Secret Priscilla. Life of Pets too. I should have drawn. I should have drawn Cotton in like right here. For this doodle here, just got done watching Toy Story 4, so I wanted to doodle Woody and Bo. What? Ripped my heart out. Yeah. Steven didn't watch Toy Story 3 when it came out. It was 10 years ago. And then he, wa he finally sat down and watched Toy Story 4. Woo! All the feels, all the feels. But I really, really loved how this turned out. It made me super happy. I need to go apologize to all my old toys now. Exactly. At least you got two here. For this day, I keep forgetting. Oh, legend. The day was legend. The word for Inktober was legend. And I, stop it. <laughs> so I drew a legend. And so I drew Tony Stark snapping his fingers with the Iron Man infinity glove. And we all know what happens. I'm not going to spoil it, but if you've seen it, you know what happens. So I found these two magical tricolored pencils you saw on Elvis's jacket earlier. Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. I just wanted to draw dancing. Like I said, I've been wanting to do more action poses, like movement poses using line of action. And you can kind of see the remaining bits of line of action from my original. Like here's one, I can see it right here. Right there. Eric, Prince Eric and Max. Was that ink? Yeah, this is ink. Like regular, just lining and Copic markers. Mm. Mm. I actually, this is the first version of this fairy. I did not like how this was turning out. So I drew her again over here. So this is the first version. Second version, character development, yay. And then, okay, now we're getting into more of the Inktober doodles where I thought that I was gonna run out of pages, so that's why I started going back. So this day was mindless, so I drew the scarecrow from the Wizard of Oz. This day was shark, no, it was bait. This day was bait, so I, do, I drew shark bait. <laughs> Bloat. Bloat. At Mount Wanahakalugi. Yes. And this day was frozen and build put together. So I drew Elsa and Anna as little girls. I told her to stop drawing frozen, but she couldn't let it go. <laughs> oh, That's a lie, I just wanted to make a joke. Yeah, right. Husky. So instead of drawing a husky, I drew a husky fluffy character who was a little bit fatter. So I drew Puss in Boots when he got fat in the third Shrek, which was my one of my favorite Shreks. Oh, it was the fourth Shrek. The third Shrek I didn't like, the fourth Shrek I did like. So this day, over here, was enchanted. So I wanted to draw an enchanted scene. So I drew Harry getting his letters through the chimney and all through the house. Um, this day I never posted, but it was frail. And I actually took this idea from another artist from that day, because I didn't know what to draw for frail other than a breakable character. And I already drew Bo Peep, so I was like, ah, I don't want to draw. Bo Peep, but she actually drew that she lost her dog like two years ago and it still hurts, so her heart was hurting, so her heart was frail, so I drew Jazzy and myself. This day was swing, so I drew Punzi swinging from her hair, and my goal for, I think I explained it a little bit earlier, I still wanted to do like my inks my, and use minimal color and still cross hatch as much as I could. I really don't like the way that this turned out because I was trying to do it more in my style instead of copying the image. These days were patterned and I picked my favorite dress, one of some of my favorite dress patterns. So I picked me. Any Lilo? You can talk at all? Yeah, I'm waiting. <laughs> this day was snow. So I did a lot more scenes that were pertaining to the words as opposed to characters that were made of snow or dealed with snow like frozen or something so i did a scene where mr Tumnus and lucy meet in chronicles of narnia when it's snowing because that was the most magical moment because didn't they 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 didn't let her see the set they kept it secret and they that. blindfolded her and that action was absolutely genuine so that's why i love that scene so much because they wouldn't let the little girl who played lucy see the set of Narnia and she was just that was a true genuine reaction. For this day it was dragon so since how to train your dragon part three was new so I drew light fairy and toothless meeting and just flying in the air together and I really had fun drawing this and I got to use my turquoise again. Oh of course this day was ash 
So I drew Ash in my own style. Ash and Pikachu. All right, this day was overgrown. So when I was thinking of overgrown, I wanted to think of like facial hair or hair in general. And I already drew Rapunzel, so I couldn't draw Rapunzel again. So I drew Dumbledore, because he has a fantastic beard, because it's just really overgrown. He's got this little ornament that hangs at the bottom that keeps it together. I mean, when you got a little ornament, ponytail holder, that's so intricate holding your beard together, you know it's overgrown. And then this day was wild. So I actually went full on crossing cross hatching. These two days I couldn't add any ink so I just did my normal cross hatching with my ballpoint pen because I just couldn't bring out my palette and I think I drew this on the plane. I remember when you drew that. Remember how good I told you it was? Yeah. Uh, you know why I'm in this video but I'm not talking a lot? Because this is one of my favorite sketchbooks seriously that you've ever done because Aww. it goes back and forth or a combination between cross hatching and ink. Yep. And I absolutely love both of those styles. I can do a little bit of cross hatching, but I suck at ink. You're good at everything. Mm. Mm. Touch my hand, Steven. It's so good. Touch my hand. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm staring. There we go. Then these days, this one was Misfit and this one was Ornament because that day we were going to Galaxy's Edge at Walt Disney World. If you guys haven't gone, you've got to go. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful. If you're a Star Wars fan, oh, you'll lose your nerd brains everywhere. I drew BB-8 because he looks like an ornament and to be honest, I have a BB-8 ornament so it seemed all right and I wanted to take a picture for the Millennium Falcon and then I should have gotten this done earlier and taken a picture at Toy Story Land and taken advantage that we were in Hollywood Studios, but I didn't. But Misfit was Forky. And we did get to ride that new roller coaster. Yeah, uh, finally. Toy well, Story. Yeah, because last time it was like Slinky two dog. Slinky Dog roller coaster at, because it was a two hour wait, but we got a fast pass, which was really amazing. I love the look of Woody. You the, like him? The ink and the cross hatching combo. Yeah, I thought he looked a little weird to me. No, I love it. Thank I like you. the raw look of all this, this particular look. Thank you. On this day, I kind of wanted <sighs> to draw Belle. What? Keep talking, I'll be right back. Okay, I kind of wanted to draw Belle on the other side. I feel like I still should, but something happened over here. I'm not a huge fan of what's over here. Little beastie, and I took a picture of this at Be Our Guest on my birthday. And we were in Be Our Guest while she was doing it and one of the waitresses saw it and she's like, it's so good, you deserve a reward for that. That drawing earned her this cup. For free. <laughs> for free. Because of how good her drawing was. Mm, they let me have a magical moment so because I let her look through my book and she just, and she found out it was my birthday too. And then this day, these are two separate days. Uh, this day was Ghost, and I hate Boo the Ghost in any Mario game. Hate his guts, so I wanted to draw Danny Phantom beating Boo up. And I actually don't like the way Boo, I, Boo should have had more of a crushed look, but if I crushed his face too much, he probably would have not recognized which ghost he was. And of course, a lot of people know who Danny Phantom is. Ancient. So I wanted to do like an ancient tale or an ancient character. Not an age, but something that has been going on for on and on and on and on in so many different renditions, so I drew Hercules. I really wish you'd have done the Hydra. That was the coolest thing. This day was Dizzy, and you don't know this movie, but Labyrinth. It's not Phantom of the Opera? No, it's Labyrinth. Jim Henson's Labyrinth. Uh, David Bowie. Yeah, at least you know who's in it. But this scene, I actually watched it again before I drew it. How dizzy she gets and there's just constant twirling and twirling and all these goblins dressed up as people. or It's just a whole fantasy kind of nightmare dream thing. And it, how fast it just changes from a dream into a nightmare. And then of course, Blech. I smell children. So this day was tasty and of course, our three favorite witches think that children are tasty. Your favorite, not mine. Whatever. I haven't even seen the movie. This day was dark, so I wanted to draw. Not, no one knows what's gonna happen in this next movie, or if somebody turns to the dark side or someone turns away from the dark side. Who knows, we don't know. I still ship Raylo at Rhyme. 
drew Kylo and Rey and Kylo reaching his hand out to her and I kind of like mixed the red and the blue here because we don't know if Kylo will turn to good or not. I like that. Thank you. Why are we whispering? I don't know. Okay. This day was coat. So I thought of my favorite coat in all history of characters, David Tennant's trench coat was one of my favorite coats because it just Sherlock's is better. Mm, it's kind of the same, man. Yeah, 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 uh, but you better. don't know. But better. Alright, this day was injury. So if you've seen the movie Tangled, and see the darkness. If I gotta open it up more to see more of an effect. But this day was based off of when Flynn got stabbed. Spoiler alert. <sighs> I didn't even see the movie. No, but the, the light, I did add a little bit of gold into it to make it shine a little bit more. But yes, that's the one and only, the sunflower. She got a haircut? Yeah, she turns into a brunette. Oh, wow. See if you'd watch the movie. God, there's no point now. Now I know the ending. Oh, whatever. And this was actually, I drew this for Steven because oh, this was catch. So I did one of my favorite catch phrases. <laughs> You are stronger than you seem, braver than you believe, and smarter than you think. Playing a game called Seeing What You See. <laughs> if you guys have not seen Christopher Robin, drop what you're doing and go watch it. It is so fun. So these are one of the pages that I ripped out, and I kind of went on to the next one to finish up the book because I wanted it to be like, this one's just ready to fall out. But it's my fault because I ripped out too many pages. So here we have Snow White and the evil witch and this was the last day of inktober and it was ripe and what is ripe stinky oh no the apple ripe so what it is a stinky apple so i drew this wonderful infamous i'm gonna say infamous because it's not everyone's favorite scene of snow taking the apple from the That's evil That's because old they hat. made it too creepy back in 1935 true i'm still scared of that witch it is scary and this page, see, the oranges, I wanted to test that the oranges were bleeding, and they are. It's the red and the oranges, and you can see it. Not a fan of that at all. And I wanted to kind of like make a swatch scale, but then I saw this was happening, I'm, I'm done. Now this is fun because during a store setup of Hobby Lobby, I got to wear, these are my name tags, so I drew on them every single day. And I just kept all of them in the back. And this is one of my favorite sketchbooks, like I said. But the important thing to remember is I get to watch her draw now. And she does it in cars, on airplanes, on couches, pretty much everywhere. So be sure you practice if you ever want to get as good as Priscilla is. Thank because you. she does art all the time. Yes, thoroughly. I draw all the time. I'm not even exaggerating. It just It's a good stress relief, good way to get better. And... This book is really nice because I was able to take it everywhere. Everywhere with me. So I like it. Love it. It's a good old moleskin. And I'm just going to go ahead, put my little strap on it, and put it in the vault of sketchbooks of Priscilla World. Now it's a weapon. So if anybody says your art stinks, you can go up and go whack and hit him in the head with it. <laughs> Alrighty then, guys. That's it for my Inktober and my sketchbook that I filled up the most. As you can see, is really used up. Look how battered it is, but I love it. I love that look. You just gotta be careful ripping out any pages, it will fall apart. Battle worn. Battle worn. Alright, say goodbye, Steven. Bye. 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 Bye.